So, Bina, it'd be lovely if you could share some of your valuable insights into this. What's happening in this good practice? Or am all in there? Well, here at Gander, we really push for children's interests to be worked on and to extend and enhance that knowledge. Uh, water play at the moment is used because of the hot weather, not just for the children to play in, but also for the children to learn from. And so children being able to access water at any time and to be able to use it and... And just in the little bits too, we have them filling the buckets and being resourceful, looking after the environment, not wasting water. Let me finish digging a hole. Here, look. And I see mixed age group in this setting, being a, that's something that you support at Gundu. Yeah, we support it a lot. We think that they, um, we find the benefits of it from the, um, Smaller kids being with the older children is a more of an advance of learning from them. Okay. Yeah. And that's how it is outside of the centre. We all learn of different ages, yeah? There we go. And mainly from family because family, even the smaller ones, have a responsibility to care for um, their siblings as well. Can you see the water, Nelly Day? <gasps> Nelly Day. A little bit more, right? And it really shows here with David, they're trying to help someone look in the pie. Yep. It couldn't reach, it wasn't tall as he was. And cooperative play. That's why it's important to do that role modelling, but play in anything in front of the children because then the children can do that with their in friends life. and in life, yeah, in life, family. And just, I see this child climbing up onto this block here and taking the risk to climb up on top to be able to see into the pipe um, where the water's going. Children taking risks, is that something that's valued in space? You can do? Yep, because there are some benefits um, from the children taking risks and um, if they're going to learn something from it, then by all means, like, um, let them take that risk as long as we know the capability of the children and and what they are capable of and what and seeing them as capable learners. Did you put a flower in there, Dave? <laughs> Ready to lift this one up? You gonna help, Anna Kaishika? And just the language they're used with Kai. Uh, referring to herself as Aunty Kai. That language used in the setting is important yep. for, educators for educators and community yes. children, Bina? Yes, it is. It's um, very important, like I was saying. We have some um, non-Indigenous children that do attend the centre as well also. And just as a sign of respect, we was um, look at them as sisters and brothers. I'm um, just so that you have that sense of belonging also. Whoa! Whoa! Where's the water going, guys? She's going down there! So she's asking them the questions and getting them to answer, which is good also because we try and encourage for children to talk and have that strong sense of confidence. Beautiful, and then the wet sand, children feeling it and and becomes a sensory experience. Yes, as well, yep. Yeah. Goes on and on and on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we got... Just can get a lot of learning out of the playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Good boy. 